What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video documenting my journey to legend. In today's video, I'm bringing you some battles in the Great League Remix Cup featuring a team that I consider to be the most fun team in the Great League Remix Cup. This is honestly the most fun I've had playing battles in a long, long time. And it's all thanks to the mole that stands just shy of three feet tall. This team is built in a very unconventional ABA style team where my lead and my back mon are definitely weak to charm. So if you're seeing charm, do not run this team. That said, this team helped me climb from 2500 ELO, basically, all the way to like the top, the high 2800s. These battles are on my girl's account. I'm going to get right into the battles just so that we can start seeing them. Um, and I went on an impressive 5-0 run with this uh, with this team. And then the following battles are going to be all of my losses. Uh, just because I want to show you that this team's not busted. Uh, I think it's busted. But, um, hey, we try to make a catch and absolutely fail. Uh, but this team has a lot of play, even into... A9 charm leads, uh, which I did face a lot of. So, the opponent decides to throw both of their aerial asses against my polyrath, and we rock the non shadow because the non shadow can survive too, and I don't really want to invest a shield. Here, instead of throwing my move, I figure this energy would be more worthwhile on D Knight. Uh, also, if you run this team, definitely use a great, like a, a good ranked D Knight. This one is absolutely Shikaka, but it's shiny, and you know, we got an ABA. Uh, green lean mean fighting machines. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to showcase both of these both of these uh, green mons plus the mole uh, so they <clears throat> um, <laughs> If at first you don't succeed try try again. I didn't Successfully get the catch on the first time uh, and I also think I yeah, I ended up catching an aerial ass uh, But here we do successfully catch an aerial ace uh, Imagine if I caught the dark pulse I would be ha 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 and you're gonna see that I messed this up. I I I hate these counts, man. These three turn moves where like, I don't know the energy. I should be throwing, but I'm not throwing. <laughs> and I think they made the dark pulls. That, like, look at that. That is insane. Uh, lucky for me, they do have George McForman in the back and I can build up enough energy. I should have thrown that immediately, but I wasn't sure if a superpower would KO. It does. Like, like George is, is so glassy. All right. And awkward. So, you know, just, just take him out. Um, Mantine. I despise this lead. If you face the Mantine lead, there's probably a Gligar or an Annihilate in the back. Three Mons that do really well into Polyrath. Polyrath hasn't really had much play um, on this team, but I do like it a lot. Lucky for me, this doesn't seem to be the Annihilate team. I tend to force a shield because then at least I can force the shield on the Annihilate. The drill run from Shadow Excadrill. Yes, you need the Shadow Excadrill. Please do not run the regular one. He is kind of trash. Um, the Shadow Excadrill does about 80% or, or close to 90% of, uh, with a drill run to Annihilate. Uh, so you definitely want it. Here my opponent, you know, decides to be a master beta, a master battle, if you will. Uh, but I figured I could still make it, I could still CMP with their next drill run, but they decide to throw early. And so here I'm just going to over farm to the max, see what they have in the back. Maybe it is the Annihilate, you know, maybe, maybe they were, they were too chicken shit. They didn't know, uh, but they bring back in Mantian. So I figure, okay, I'm going to get really, really low. I'm going to let my mole go down. That way I can bring in Polyrath and maybe make a catch depending on what they have. But they have George McForman. <laughs> what does Jamie Finn say? He comes straight in and straight out. Uh, so that was a really, really uh, fun sweep by uh, Excadrill. Another Mandibuzz. Again, these flyer leads are really, really annoying. Uh, here we do successfully make the catch. Most of them tend to throw as soon as they get it. Um... The first opponent obviously over farmed, which was insane. You do not have to shield anything here. I've shielded in the past and going down a shield is your lose con. So please do not shield. Uh, lucky for me, they try to, uh, I don't know if they try to snipe or they just try to catch an icy wind anyway. Um, I should have thrown it a little earlier, but I also didn't want to give them as much farm. Um, and uh, lucky for me, I managed to get both these icy winds off and I don't think they're going to make a thunder, but if they do, I'm forcing them to throw it. They go for the twice resisted, double debuffed power whip, which is insane. What a madman. Uh, and they bring back in Mandy. And at this point, I can do two, throw my superpower and come in with the mole and hope that he can clap. And sometimes he claps. Sometimes he gets clapped. <laughs> uh, so we do successfully shield the Dark Pulse, uh, which, is, which is great. And they try to catch. And here, I think I make a bit of a, mi a misplay here. I over farm, but these shadow claws do much more 
than the uh, Snarls are going to do from Mandibuzz. That said, I felt like I wanted energy, and they don't decide to uh, invest a shield. I do throw on alignment because I wasn't sure if they would just throw right away, and I wanted to force the shield, stall out the clock, uh, which is almost stalled. They wait like a turn, uh, I think anticipating the catch, but they don't know that the two-ton tubby tubs the type thick. Uh, so we managed to get to the next Dragon Claw. Again, throwing on just bozo timing, so you don't need any skill to run this team. This team is just really, really fun. Uh, and I'm up at the 2800s, uh, which, well, not me, my girl's account is, because I've been playing on it. I'm hiding her name. If you want to know what her name is, just in case you do face her, or me, uh, 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 join the Discord. <laughs> um, I love this battle. So, Steelix lead with our Dragonite, we swap into the Mole, and what I've noticed from Steelix leads... Steelix leads is they are well prepared for Polyrath. They're not so well prepared for Excadrill, which is insane, but also Excadrill is incredibly glassy. At this point, he's done his job. I'm going to farm this thing all the way down to Shitipa Town, and uh, my opponent would have died with the Thunder. Or actually, they wouldn't have made it. So they settle for the Whip, and they get some nice damage. I do. Look at, look, look at this nonsense. I do two, right? I hope. One, two. I do two and throw. But I think they got one turn bring in, so I get a whole ass debuffed, um, uh, debuffed defense uh, dragon tail, which absolutely hurts. And they decide to throw some energy, and then they come in with air slash Mandy. So they do have a harder response to Polyrath. This is a much better matchup for Mandibuzz. And at this point, I'm like, you know what? I think that they might be able to farm me down. I wasn't sure if I would make the icy win. But I'd rather get energy. Look at this. Look at this absolutely spectacular endgame. I, I see my health. I'm like, I can survive two more air slashes, right? Copium. So one, two, and then I throw on alignment just to get as much dragon breath damage as I can. I need to be one away from the superpower. I am! Absolutely insane endgame with a Steelix lead. That I didn't play that well, but I I, I loved how I uh, closed out that match. Um, definitely, you know, like the video and subscribe if. Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's right. This was the uh, the five zero, um, which was insane. We made it up to twenty eight twenty two. Uh, I think it was like a seventy point climb on this day. But overall, I've climbed with this team since uh, Great League Remix started, from veteran all the way to expert. I'm still trying to make Dragonite work in the Master League on my account, and so far, so Shikaka. D9 Double Steel does not have the presence, the gravitas that it once did, which is uh, kind of sad. If you have a better D9, you survive those two aerial asses, or one aerial ace really, uh, much more comfortably. And at this point, I'm going to come in farm down with Excadrill because I fi figure it'll be more worth it. We get an almost perfect farm down. In comes the Annihilate. I throw the Drill Run, hoping that they don't shield because my back two mods obviously don't want to see it. It does 80%, so not, not too bad. But they have a Gligar. All I need to do is shield this first one so that I can debuff them. Um, but I don't think we're going to end up winning this game. This was the Mantine lead or Mantine team that I was seeing that I just don't think we're well equipped to handle because Polyrath has nowhere to go. This is possibly its best matchup only because Icy Wind does twice super effective damage. Um... But yeah, if, if I can get to another move before they farm me down, Copium, uh, we might be able to make it. But at this point, I know that I'm not I'm not going to make it. Because even if I shield a bait, right? Let's see if they drill run. Or they they, they, they send they full send the dig. But I can CMP tie with the next one. And they might catch on Annihilate. And like you could you could argue that I could maybe take the counters. Uh, but I, it's just not it's just not enough. Um, so it's a very difficult team to come back from. The best way I've found to play it is just force a shield on Mantine if you can, save swap Exca, and hope for the best. Um, this is also a pretty tricky lead. Um, Dragonite can tank uh, uh, at least one discharge. If you want to knock it out, you should probably go for the superpower here. Um, actually, you might not even knock it out. Uh, but I, I figure, okay, I'm going to come in with Exca Drill, hopefully get the perfect farm down, uh, because it's running Thundershock, so I won't be fearing the fast move. Uh, I have like no health on Excadrill. Like the only look at look at the, even those thunder shocks are chunking, low key. Um, they bring in I think the ape again, so they have two counters. I just need to either force shield or do something here. Um, if we force a shield and we bring in the polyrath, and then they have Mandibuzz, and this is almost perfect. I think 
where I mess up here is, <clears throat> hmm, I just, I think I take out the Manda Buzz, and that kind of, you know, deals me in. Uh, I do CMP here, which is nice, but I think if if I was going to shield up anything, because I think at some point I do shield, I should have shielded the, the first move. I think what my my reasoning was here, my thinking was, um, which I do very little of, is I didn't want to give the Annihilate any more, um, like just any more play, but this is, this is they don't get the, the debuff, which is fine. I should have gone for the Scald, um, but it, regardless, I, I wasn't going to be able to survive 10 counters to get two drill runs off, so. Um, may, maybe there was still play, because I did debuff it. I shouldn't have given up so quickly, um, since they were energy dry. So may, may, maybe, maybe there was play. Uh, but I, I really, I really doubt it. Um, so when they bring in Empoleon, this is a pretty good matchup for you since you, uh, um, since you can survive a drill pack, drill pack, even from the shadow, they bring back in the Dragonite, which is great. I'm going to force a shield, which is fantastic. And then I'm probably going to trust in uh, Dragonite to just close out the, oh, sorry, uh, extra drill to close out the game. I figure here. The Dragon Breaths are debuffed. They may not do as much damage as they typically do on Excadrill, but this shit, look at, look at that shit. That shit is chunky. Um, I throw this move right away to uh, prevent them from getting a free sneak in. They're most likely on Aqua Tail, which is what most of them are. I'm planning on double shielding. I'm double shielding, and I'm hoping against all odds that the Dragonite isn't close to a move because that's the only way I win this. One could argue that maybe I could have gone for a CMP there or something, uh, but I see how much damage that does. That's super close. That's perfect. And we're gonna shield this. I think I have two mud shots of a head start, and I and I think they were one turn away from making it to the Dragon Claw since they had just thrown energy against my Dragonite, and we managed to clutch out that game. Uh, so very very difficult team. How do you deal with ABA Nine Tails leads? You do win some of them. I tend to do one Dragon Breath and then throw. Even if it is the icy um, the Powder Snow A9, you still want to come in with Exca and four shields. And then, uh, hopefully, you can close out with Polyrath. As soon as they let that go through, I'm just shielding and taking, taking the switch advantage. Uh, because they're running Thundershock, which is great. And they're going to have a Mandy Buzz. Um, and again, I'm going to try to throw on as perfect timing as I can. I'm realizing that I still need this mole to win this team. Or to beat this team. Because I'm not going to be able to take out that A9. I'm going to try to force the A9 back out by bringing in the Polyrath. Um... Because it's way too tempting, right? Especially when I catch a Dark Pulse, which is absolutely beautiful. I don't know why they didn't shield this. Spoiler alert. I think it was because, regardless of if they shielded or not, maybe they were hoping that they would be able to farm me down. But once the Mana Buzz comes out, I'm like, okay, I, I can just send in D-Knight and uh, do as much oppressive Dragon Breath damage as I can. I'm not going to shield it. Uh, and then they realize that and, and top left. Um, the This is like the second to last game. Another Mantine lead. This one ends very poorly for me, I believe. Or maybe we do manage to, to, to play this one out. It's usually Mantine and Gligar in the back, right? Because there's no Skarmory in this in this meta, I don't think. Um, we do shield up the first one here. We try to play it a little bit differently. Uh, just because I wasn't sure how to play out this team. And I think at this point, I'm just going to let them go down. But they ac accidentally CMP. Uh, they, they should always outpace. Uh, but they don't. And at this point, I have the shield. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to let D-Knight go down. And because we have such trash-ass IVs, we actually don't survive that area last. And now I think I'm going to come in with Excadrill again over farm, but they come in with uh, Ferrothorn. So I'm just trying to throw on uh, proper timing. I decide to over farm because if this is their best response to a Ferrothorn, then I'm not that scared. I am going to need two moves to KO anyway. So I'm going to try to CMP on the next one or at least throw five, which is I think is what I'm going to be able to, to do. Um, I think I threw on alignment there because I didn't want to take that bullet seed. And if I'm not mistaken, they come back in with Manti and I'm going to try to CMP. I don't, um, which may be a mistake, but I have enough energy to hopefully get this drill run off against this Venusaur. I'm also taking note of my health and I'm like, I think I can survive six more, um, uh, vine whips, but I need to bring in Polyrath just to force them to dump a frenzy and hopefully outpace. But then I realized those mud shots are, are chunking. And we actually managed to take that game, which was uh, pretty clutch. For Galvantula, shadow or non-shadow, this has been the way I've liked to play it. Uh, you lose CMP. So just catch. Catch on the extra drill. This shit is going to hurt regardless. Um, 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, even that, even that hurts. Uh, you actually, one, you win CMP against for alligator, but two, this shadow on shadow actually hurts. It forces a shield. I, I was so tempted to shield here, but I figured if I decide to shield, they'll just invest that last shield and farm me down. And I would have preferred that not happen. I have a boatload of energy here. I'm going to throw it on CMP or, or CAP. Um, to force either their, them to make a decision, they let it go, they bring in Dugong, and at this point, I think I've realized I've won the game. The only way I lose is if I shield an Icy Wind. I'd prefer not to take the drill run damage, so I do shield the first one. They don't bait. I do one and throw so that I can debuff that Volt Switch that just went through, and my opponent is still two away from the move. Again, I'm just going to do one and throw uh, before they get their next Volt Switch off. I'd much rather have health on Polyrath than, um, than energy. Because the energy really is going to go nowhere. I'm so close to a Dragon Claw uh, or a Superpower. I don't think I'll survive two Icy, icy Shards. <laughs> icy Shards. <laughs> Henceforth, it shall be known as Icy Shard. Uh, but my opponent... And I throw an alignment like a Bozo. But my opponent realized that they did need to over farm because I did have a Dragon Claw. And at that point, they were in Dragon Claw range. There is this team going around. Diggersby, either Mantine or Gligar. Uh, probably Mantine because it's it's uh, much safer. It's less ABA. And Annihilate. Here was where I realized I had made a grievous error. A grievous lapse in judgment. I bring in my hard counter because, you know, at that point I figured I had, I had a, a shield. They outpaced me to an aerial ace. Aerial ass. I probably should have shielded that one. If I was going to invest shield because, like, these icy winds are so pathetic. Look how much little damage they do. Nothing. They can farm me down. Farm me down, come out with a boatload of energy. If I had just shielded that first one, maybe they wouldn't have been as tempted to farm me down. Uh, but regardless, this is a horrible matchup for Manting to be in. And their backmon is going to be the Annihilate. So what I probably should have done is I should have... I didn't want to invest shields because, like, I'm dead. You know? I'm like, I'm so dead. Um, but if they have an Annihilate, which I think they do, then I'm going to lose this matchup anyway. So we come in. We over farm. They're giving me hope. Look at this pathetic piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, kudos to my, to, my, to, to my opponent. But like, why, bro? Like, if you know you can win this, just send in your Annihilate and I will top left. Stop giving me hope. What is this shit? So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure it's the Annihilate. Maybe they're just fucking with me. But I think, you know, I, th I think we cook something up. And over here, I should have gone for the CMP, but I don't survive five counters anyway to make it to another move. So, like, I'm, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. They bring in the Annihilate, and I'm like, really, bro? Like, you could have done that this whole time. Uh, but it, it is what it is. Anyway, this team was incredibly successful for me. Yes, it is ABA. If you're running into ABA charm, sorry, just charm in general, uh, don't use this team. There's also that superior... Dugong Carbink line, which my team absolutely loves. Um, we feast on that shit. So if you're seeing a lot of that, definitely play this team. I hope you give this team a try. I'm going to keep using it to see how far I can get before the league switch again. Uh, but I've been having a lot of fun. And if I have enough fun in the Master League with Dragonite, uh, I'll post a video about that too. But for now, peace.